what's going on beautiful people welcome back to another hall's capital video uh, i think we got a pretty good one for you guys as far as DeFi opportunities go uh, i think that this is one that you definitely want to have on your radar uh, the project and the opportunity i'm going to share with you today is actually part of the solana blockchain um and i think that this could be what solana actually needs to allow it to have another solana summer um similar to what happened uh last year uh with amazing opportunity and gains for everybody uh the project that we're going to be talking about today guys is neon labs and what neon labs is looking to do is bring the neon evm uh ethereal virtual machine uh to solano so this is going to be really cool because it's going to allow for developers uh, as well as investors to go ahead and now uh, go play on Ethereum dApps as well as them bringing Ethereum dApps into the Solano ecosystem. So something to look forward to. Uh, if I had to kind of break this down and give you like the easiest thing that you could compare this to so that way you get a sense of what Neon Labs is actually trying to do, uh, I would compare Neon to Aurora. So what Aurora is doing for NEAR, you know, Aurora is the EVM chain for NEAR network. Uh, just like you've got uh, the Emerald network is the EVM compatible uh, chain for the Rose Oasis. Uh, you've got Godwoken, which is uh, EVM compatible for CKB. Uh, you know, the it, again, the list goes on. We can see a lot of these projects have these EVM compatible chains uh, that are allowing them uh, to be able to access some of that liquidity and some of the talent that's being built on Ethereum. So with that said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Uh, in the video, I'm going to go over everything you need to do as far as the testnet goes. Uh, they do have a testnet that is live. Um, I've actually talked about this project a couple times in the room with you before, but there hasn't been anything to actually show you. Uh, I don't like just reading and going over medium articles and twitter accounts but now that they actually have a product that i can share with you uh we're gonna go ahead and run through it so uh first place that you always want to start guys is the website all the information you'll need it'll also have all the helpful links to everything that you need to get to as far as info goes uh they do have the docs that exist but again uh there's no info on tokenomics because there's no token as yet but i'm pretty sure there'll be a token since we're using a testnet token uh, in there. So it definitely may benefit you to be an early adopter and user of the test nets. Um, there's no tokens yet, no info on tokenomics, don't see anything uh, as far as audits or any of that stuff going. Um, but again, we'll give them a little time uh, as we try to give all the projects a little time before mainnet goes live, but we're going to want to see some of that info happening. Uh, we know that as far as like devs, there are actual some quality uh, backers that are backing this project right now. Um, I tried to highlight in the room and post as many like news articles whenever I could find about the project. So that's basically all we have in the room right now on them. They do have a couple of medium articles that you can definitely go through and read through if you want to get some info on Neon Labs and what they're doing. The most helpful one to you as far as participating in the DevNet testnet uh, is going to be this one that was written on April 5th. So definitely go ahead uh, and go through that. I'll post the overall link for the medium itself so you guys can just go through at your leisure. All right. Uh, as far as things that are important when I found going through the docs, going through the medium articles, uh, they do have roadmaps that are out there. We are currently right now in alpha. So they are going through the alpha where basically I'm going to show you guys how to use the neon pass, uh, neon scan, more swap. Uh, and a few other things that you can do right now. So we're going to go over all of these uh, in this video today. But basically, the docs basically really just summing everything up to you, telling you how they're going to use this EVM chain to bring developers into Solano, uh, the benefits of it, what Solano has been lacking, uh, what Ethereum has that Solano doesn't have. They have a nice little comparison of both of them and how it could be uh, super exciting when the both of them come together and you can now bring like power efficiency and speed. That's basically what all the medium articles are basically saying to you if I had to break it down. All right. Uh, as far as like I said, guys, the best way I can compare it to you, um, Neon is comparing it to Aurora. And again, Aurora, we were able to get in early on that when it launched and everything. And it did great for us on the way up. I'm sure it'll be great for us on the way up again when the second time happens after we get all these little shakeouts and everything that we're going through now. Uh, again, they were able to raise a little bit of money, um, some decent money, about 40 million. I believe like Jump Capital, uh, the guys who are 
I uh, helped refund the wormhole and everything. And a lot of projects on Solano, Jump Capital, Three Arrows, and a couple other big guys uh, decided to throw some money at this thing as well. Now, there are some errors with the test net, um, and they've been talking about these errors since like last week. Here it is 10 days later, and the same errors are still coming up. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention that I got the same errors as well. However, as you guys can see through the history, I was able to go through uh, and do a couple of different swaps and participate in most of the test net. Uh, in the medium, they actually try to reference and tell you how to avoid these problems. And again, even doing what they tell you to do in the medium is not going to help you get out the problems. Uh, they tell you to raise slippage to 10. I've raised slippage to 10, 20. I raise it as high as 50. And still, uh, the only swap you cannot complete on the test net is a swap into Mora. All right. Uh, and I'll let you guys know, I tried every way. Like, you know, I, I don't just like do one thing and one and done. Like I, I like to MacGyver stuff and tinker around and find back ways to get into things. Uh, and it wouldn't work. I tried to swap uh, more into everything. I couldn't get it. All right. So just giving you guys the heads up. Don't beat your head against it. Do as much as you can. And the only thing you need to do is swap for some more for the test net. You can come back when the team updates that. And I'll let you guys know. Now, we need to get some testnet tokens. This is where you come and get the testnet tokens. We're going to come to NeoSwap, NeonSwap.live, uh, and all you need to do is connect. Once your wallet is connected, you will go ahead and type how many tokens you can get. You can only get a max of 1,000 tokens every two to three minutes. So just be aware of that, all right? We'll hit get tokens. <clears throat> And there you go. You can see I've gotten tokens and actually one minute. So not even three minutes in one minute, every one minute, you will be able to come and get tokens. Now, as far as swaps being available on neon swap, there are no actual swaps available. Uh, again, a situation where I came and I attempted to swap against every one of these, uh, these coins, this $3 you see, I didn't get that from this swap. I got it from the more swap, uh, but I tried to swap every one of these coins uh, out. And again, I'll go here and I'll try to swap some USDC Let's see if this one decides to go ahead and work. We'll see if we can get some USDT. We'll do $2 of it. And as you guys can see, insufficient liquidity. If you did the same thing with Neon or any token and you try to do the max of whatever it is you had and you go across all the tokens, it's going to tell you the same thing. Um, my slippage, I even up that to 10 over here, nothing. So this is not where you're coming to swap. You're just coming over here to get tokens. You can't swap. There's no real opportunity for pools either. All right. Now, here we are on the Mora swap. You guys can see I was over here trying to play around, trying to send as whatever it is I could, uh, trying to go ahead and get this Mora token. But you can see it's giving me the error down there. But for the most part, what you guys can do right now when you swap, you can come on over here and you can swap Neon and you can swap Neon into Wrapped Neon. So if you want to go ahead and do some of that as a swap, you can do that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do it so you can see. Uh, that everything that that part does work at least uh, so you should do so there you go see wrapped and it went ahead and it wrapped the token so the swap works but for whatever reason the contract for more is not working and it won't allow you to swap it all right you can also swap and get this usdc uh and the musdc i thought if i got the musdc it would allow me to get more but no as you can see it didn't um and again i tried every other token uh, but as far as allowing me to get into swaps, these are the only ones that actually allowed me to get into swaps. So just giving you guys a heads up so that way you're not beating your head against the wall if it doesn't work for you. All right. Now, once you've swapped a couple of tokens, come on over to liquidity. Uh, go ahead and add and create liquidity pairs. If you're not really sure which liquidity pairs you want to add and create, you can come to the farms and you can see they've got MUSDC. That's why I got the MUSDC and they've got neon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go jump into these farms. All right. I want to jump into MUSD and neon. So there we go. That will be what the liquidity is. As you can see, liquidity is totally off. It doesn't matter. It's a test net. We just want to complete the test net. All right. And participate. So there we go. We've added our liquidity. Once we add the liquidity, we're going to go ahead and stake this. And the only way that I can see for you to be able to get some more tokens so you can complete um, you know, the full uh, test net, because in the test net, they actually want you to stake some more. But if you can't get the more, how are you going to stake it? I would assume when you come on over here to farms, guys, now that I have a pool, drop your uh, your tokens into the farm. You'll earn some rewards. Even if you earn like, you know, 
less than a penny and more, go ahead and claim it and then stake it. That's just my thoughts on trying to think outside the box uh, to just get the tokens so you can complete the test net. All right. Um, just a thought. So, uh, and again, like I said, once they update it and I see that they've fixed the swaps and it's all updated, guys, I will post in the room and I'll let you know for anyone who started on uh, the Neon test net you want to go through and complete it so there you go guys i've now staked the little bit of tokens i have it will start earning whatever it starts to earn for me uh unfortunately like i said guys we cannot stake anything uh because i can't get any more tokens so hopefully when i start earning some more from the faucet <clears throat> I'm sorry, from farming here, I'll go ahead and harvest that and then I'll stake them more. Uh, now, the next thing that you can do over here, guys, is we want to transfer some Neon to the Solano network, all right? And we're going to need the MetaMask and you're going to need a Phantom Wallet to do this, all right? So once your tokens are selected, just decide what it is you want to transfer. I want to go ahead and I am going to be transferring some Neon. So we're going to go ahead, we'll transfer... Uh, We'll just do 200 of the neon why not hit next on that one select the solano wallet my phantom wallet is the one in which i am going to select all right let's go ahead and connect wallet here you go it should pop up in your phantom ask you to confirm and then you just hit next you hit confirm and you're going to actually need some solano some test network solano in your wallet to go ahead and uh sign for the transaction and receive the transaction on the solano side if you need Solano testnet tokens, guys, you can come on over here. For the testnet, you can only get one token. For the devnet, you can get a total of 10 tokens, all right? And that is soulfaucet.com, and that's where you can get the, uh, the testnet Solano to pay for gas. Once you have how much Neon you want to transfer, just go ahead and hit confirm, guys. You're going to sign transactions in your MetaMask. Again, remember, you can edit permissions if you want to, just so you can feel comfortable and get used to the habit. And that is it, guys. You have now sent the transfer. Give it a couple seconds. It should pop up and show up in your... Let's go ahead and... Neon. And there goes the Neon EVM token. Turn it on in the wallet so you can see it. And then we'll hit close. And then once our token arrives, we will know we'll go ahead and check and see the token. All right. And we'll come back and we'll look on that. But I know the token arrives because, again, guys, I've already done the transfers and the token does show up. If you guys want to go ahead and track your information and you're looking for ways, here is Neon Scan, guys. You come over to Neon Scan and you can track yourself on the test net. So if you want to see what's going on with your transactions, the failing, the success, whatever it is of it, you can come on over here. Again, make sure you are aware of what you're on, DevNet, TestNet, and what you're looking at. <clears throat> Uh, but for the most part, guys, that's really it. That is the Neon Alpha. Uh, that is what exists out here. Remember, the only swap we cannot do right now is the all-important swap of getting into Mora. Uh, my suggestions for you guys, just like I always tell you, do a couple swaps on these. When you add liquidity, you may want to come on over here and you may want to close out some of the liquidity uh, once you've created the liquidity. Like, you know, just like I tell you, walk it forward, walk it back. That's just the best practice, in my opinion, on these test nets. Uh, and that's really it. Just wanted to go over that info and share that with you. Again, I think that this Neon Labs uh, and the Neon token that they're going to bring uh, could be a great opportunity. A lot of these EVM chains uh, have brought a lot of new life into some of these projects uh, that really didn't know, or at least I personally didn't really know where they were going to go. Uh, but once the EVM changed, they brought opportunities for new farms, new pools, and new money came into the network, guys. So we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully the video is helpful, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.